How badly affected are the residents who live on Neckartor Road? The Fraunhofer technicians are going to take some readings in one of the apartments there. Students live here. The rent is affordable because of the apartment's location. Julian Oswald is a sports student. He moved to Stuttgart from the Lake Constance area just a few weeks ago. By Lake Constance, it was very peaceful and the air was clean. Down here in Stuttgart city center, it's a different matter, especially here by a six-lane road. Things get pretty busy at rush hour, and you think twice about airing the apartment, when you should do it, and for how long. But is the air worse on the balcony or in the apartment? We set up the equipment in the kitchen. The pump sucks in air from the room through the tubing. The authorities monitoring station just outside is currently giving a reading of 70 micrograms of NO2, significantly higher than the legal limit. But levels inside the apartment are even higher. The device registers between 41 and 45 parts per billion. That roughly equates to more than 80 micrograms of NO2 per cubic meter. But how can that be? They quickly pinpoint the likely cause. The high levels are probably due to an ordinary gas boiler. When something burns, NO2 is almost always formed, as our experiment with normal household candles shows. After about 10 minutes, the levels rise to 76 parts per billion, more than 140 micrograms per cubic meter. That's more than three times the legal limit for nitrogen dioxide in the air outside. If you cook with gas, levels rise exponentially. Making pasta with tomato sauce using two gas rings sends levels shooting up to more than 700 parts per billion in under 15 minutes. Over 1,300 micrograms per cubic meter of air. That's 30 times the legal limit for outdoors.